Good Grigna Day, Grigna friends. It's the Elder Kings 2 with your friends, the Grigna Dynasty, trapped on this bloody cursed island that we can't seem to escape from. So, uh, the, the big concern that I've, I've seen a lot of people discussing in Discord and in the comment section is that it might actually be impossible to, uh, to catch up with, right? The problem with playing... I will be the first to admit, a, a, a character-focused playthrough, and a more RPG style, playing the character, exploring their individual stories, is that you don't get as much forward acceleration as you would with a, a fairly normal playthrough where you try and do the best for your dynasty and, you know, expand your realm and conquer and get a load of money and troops and blah, blah, blah. Generic CK3. The problem with the, uh, the more RPG style is... You might languish a little bit, as we have right now, because the AI isn't playing like that for sure. And as we saw yesterday, and as very appropriately we have in our capital right now, Dunma. Dunma Raiders. Specifically, we had Helstalvani turn up yesterday. Maybe not this guy specifically, but some part of Helstalvani turned up with 20,000 Raiders. And in the span of three game days, they turned up, landed on the island, burnt it down, kidnapped and killed a bunch of my courtiers, and then left without even so much as a goodbye. They were unstoppable. And that's what we're up against. That's what we're competing against because, of course, they're raiding us. They're going to raid everybody around us. And I want to be the one raiding around us. So, we're not going to step away, of course, from the from the RPG system we have going on currently. I love playing the characters. I think it's the most fun, immersive way to play. Oh, my God. They've still got her in prison. That's the person I'm talking about. Oh, no. They just captured her. Oh, you shit. Uh, sorry, Grigna Grignison. Captured him. Give me him back right now. Here's the problem. Uh, okay, go, go on. Give me him back then. So what, what we've got to try and do... Oh my god, they're going to burn down Grigna City. No. I refute this. Well, I tried. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Um, my spies have found somebody drawing maps of the territory. Yes, we are well aware. Anyway, sorry. We are playing currently as Grand Admiral Grigna the Second, Grigna's daughter of Grigna Fleet. She is content... As we've discussed, we're not going to view that as her resting on her laurels, not doing anything we really can't afford to at this stage of the game. She is content to be a greedy, stubborn raider, a skilled tactician, but a warrior. She's going to lead her troops out there on the raids when eventually we get around to it. We were saving up, an emphasis on were, because now we've had to ransom my bloody son back, and the city and the hall have been burnt down yet again. Uh, we were saving up to upgrade one of the buildings to try and get a bit more tax to cancel out all these bloody negatives because the second they raid us we lose that tax income from the city and from the hall that puts in a negative and then it's a spiral down from there right so wow um what do we do then we gain chivalric spouse giving advantage plus two that's very nice our troops are, are almost reinforced we're just gonna have to try and do some raids i did suggest that it actually might be time to consider a permanent expansion grigner island is is uh, again a lot of people said one of the hardest starts and Solstheim, right next to us, has been pretty divided. Felsard being the biggest there. They've got 3,700 troops. If we could unify this kind of central and western part of Solstheim, bring them all under one banner, we could have enough troops to probably take out Felsard. And if we could hold it all personally and give it to vassals, who are loyal Grigners, perhaps, other members of the dynasty, other branches of the dynasty, we might have a good thing going on here. It's about getting the foot in the door, but I think that's going to be the game plan. I mean, look at these people. They're quite weak. Snowkan, uh, Asamanu of Thormor. That's all she's got. 700 troops. We could do that. We could definitely do that. So let's reinforce. Let's not go raiding right now. Because when well, we're not raiding, actually, our tax income isn't bad. Even now, look, we're making 0 0.8 per month. Um, oh, God, here we go. So another thing. Our current character is not particularly religious. She is content and greedy, which are both sinful to dragon cultists. She has repeatedly re uh, kind of rebuked the uh, the, the, the theocracy, uh, the priests and everything else. And she's made a big enemy of them. And now our court priest is threatening us with a fake accusation that uh, Grigna and her husband are related. Therefore, they have to be divorced. So we are going to have to, unfortunately, say... Surely this can be forgotten. She gets a hook on us, and in exchange, we don't have to divorce him. However, what this character has done right, even though we've, we've, made, we've, we've taken a lot of L's recently, I will admit, what she has done right is educate the next generation very well. Our next character, Grigna Grignison, pretty low in stats. 16 marshals are good, don't get me wrong, but he's only a tough soldier. He's reckless, which isn't ideal. Um, I suppose, actually, it is better than not having it. 
your maximum battle roll is down by four, but your sorry, your minimum battle roll is down by four, but your maximum battle roll is up by ten. So on average, it's a benefit, right? You are just playing with chance a bit more. Um, he's got brave. He's got fickle. He's got zealous. He is going to be a a, a warrior for the dragon cult. I think he's going to be a super interesting character. We've got to get there though. Our other son, Grigna Grigna said, "Oh look at this! Such bravery is commendable." He is vengeful, fickle, and brave as well. He's also rowdy. He's going to end up being another good martial character. Next generation is going to be the generation of, I think, cheek-clapping Grigners. But this generation is going to be a slow build-up to get there. Um, oh, there's a Raise All as Raiders button. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Since when has that been a thing? That's crazy. Why well, did no one tell me about that? So we're on domain, folks. We want to flip back over uh, to, I think, starting down the Plunderer tree now. So we are going to go for... For leading troops personally in raids, is strategy better for the plus three marshal, or is chivalry better for the plus five advantage? That's interesting, because your advantage is based on your martial skill anyway, so I wonder which one is strictly better in this situation. I'm actually going to go for chivalry focus, because that gives some other benefits there as well. Then we're going to go down plunder, of course, and try, and try and carry on with that, because, again, she's content to be a warrior. She doesn't want to be anything else. That's what she wants to do with her life, and I like that. A single focus mind is, is, is good. Is she not fickle? No, she's not. She's stubborn. That's completely opposite. Amazing. Right, uh, let's... We could do a little raiding. I think it's totally pointless, because, again, everywhere has been raided by the just marauders under House Talvani. They have taken everything worth taking. Ooh. Dawn Isles under Doorstar is still raidable right now. Bear in mind, if we try and attack anywhere in Halfingar, twice now they have raised up an enormous army that have, uh, that have destroyed us. So we've got to go for very, 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 very safe raids. This money I'm going to immediately reinvest into the capital so that we can afford the monthly upkeep on a bigger army. As soon as we get the bigger army, we go for the Soul's Time. The good thing about Soul's Time is it's been back and forth between Dunmer and Nords, which is pretty appropriate, right? It is Soul's Time. Uh, the, the, the problem with that, though, are we keeping control over this now? Oh, it's dropped a little bit. The thing about that, though, is it, it's kept them at a low development. Same as us, right? They, they haven't been able to really blow up out of control or anything like that. You know what? I'm happy if we can get... Ooh, if we can get... The Kingdom of Solstheim for Grigna. The Kingdom of Grigna. That is good enough for me because we have been on the back foot all this time. The Salmon of Kalmar, an important stronghold in the Greater Dawn Islands, has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of lands and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Lendwoman Dorothy to choose from. The troops stand ready. Now our character is greedy, so she's going to go for whatever gives us the most money here. And 30 loot to the reigning army. I actually might go with that. This one just gives us development. We might not stay in Grignor Island forever. It served us well, but my god, is it a shithole. Give me the plunder. I'll take an extra 30 gold. Let's, let's go home and bank that instantly. <laughs> I'm not taking any gambles here. This is a great plan. Because then with that, we can... Ooh, Marshall Perk, you say. Oh, I do love Marshall Perks. Very nice. That's 25% raid speed, right? Very good. Uh, let's get that back, because that will immediately let us invest into another building. So let's go for... What did I want to build? Trade port in the city, right? Oh, what do you mean 223? Fuck! <laughs> Peasant labor, how long is that for? Um, are you joking? Okay, then we won't be investing there. Oh my god, are you kidding? That's nonsense time. Um, bruh. Wow, we'd have to upgrade the hunting grounds, which is 298 gold. And it would give us 0.5 taxes. It would add 10% to hostile raid time, which is actually relevant. Um, oh, piss. <laughs> this is so expensive. What the fuck? Goddamn peasants. Um, I presume... Cruise control efficient taxation... Is there a way to remove negative modifiers on a county? Ah, uh, probably not, because I think that would be Chris Vassal opinion. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, wow, that's monstrous. I can't believe you've done that to me. Well, fuck it. I might as well invest in the troops then, hey? <laughs> Domain taxes plus 7%. That's not doing anything for us. Let's go for that one, because that will also help with control. It is also going to drop the construction cost down again. Whether that's good enough, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a hunt. Oh, God, it's still 223. We could build 
hunting grounds. That's only 149 and gives 0 0.2 tax per month. Again, it's terrible, but what can you do, right? We've got just got to make do with what we can. Volkaha. Attack Orsinium. They have a lot of troops. They have 22,000 troops. If we attack Volkaha, they've got to send troops probably up from... Ugh, maybe Bone Shore. It wouldn't take them too long to get there. Where am I going to raid? Oh, my God. What did I say was probably not a bad place to raid? Maybe inside here, down by Helstel Varney, because they're all quite divided. Bleak Coast. How are you looking? Are you raidable? What are you like right now? Um, 500 troops, and then your vassals are 4,000, though. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, this is independent. Holly Frost, but I think that that says Siege of Holly Frost. So someone's already already there kicking their ass, but we can always have a we can always have a look. Can always have a, yeah, okay, maybe we won't go for that then. Um, although, who are you under attack by? Because we could potentially do something about that. Ambergard Winstead, who are you then? Why have I got to collect so many buttons just to find out who owns this army? For God's sake. Lord, okay, where are you then? Ambergard. Yeah, but where's your, where's your capital? Show me. Are you somebody I could raid? No. <laughs> Why are you there? Oh, my lord. Okay. Um, House Lalu, we know, are monstrous, monstrous raiders. They are... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, if they're out raiding, maybe their troops are distracted. Shit. Let's just go around here. Let's just go around here. Let's see what we can deal with. 3,000 troops there. Okay, so you're off the menu. You're off the menu. That's Hellstale Varney, so they're definitely off the menu. What about you? You've got 1,900 troops. They could probably defeat us if we tried raiding there. What about you? 3,000. Are you independent? You are independent. You are Grand Admiral Asama Idan, the Holy Sword of the Corsair Anvil. <laughs> What the fuck are those? We could attack them. They couldn't raise troops on us if we got there. Let's just travel over. Let's see what we can do. Again, that's a terrible idea. I'm not I'm not committing to that idea. You've got 190 troops. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. They're divided. They're, they're raidable. They're potentially raidable. What about Oren? 1,400. Okay, so we could definitely maybe do some damage over here. Definitely maybe. I'm choosing my words carefully. They're off. Okay. Are they going to come back, though? Uh, what the hell is this? It's not to get my notes that my son Annette Grigner is a very good-looking man. The way he smiles and puts a hand to his heart never fails to make my heart flutter. Are these normal feelings to have towards a son and heir? No. Although, look at that Grigner beard. My God, I understand where you're coming from. My Lord, maybe literally. Uh, no, get a grip. I actually do get a grip, though. That's monstrous. You're a monstrous lady. We can't afford to have this dynasty spiral inwards. Uh, she could just go to the brothel. That would bring relief. Oh, it would. You can't argue with that. Traction opinion minus five, but it gives us some intrigue. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go to the brothel. Get that sorted out. Okay. An actual safe raid. I'm in awe. We captured his granddaughter and his wise woman. Great. <laughs> okay. That's been raided. Um, that's been raided. Oh, yes, all these places that I said, well, that would make for good raiding. They've, um, <clears throat> unsurprisingly been raided. Molag Miles under House Lalu. What, what am I, what do, what do I do? What do I do, though? Where do I go? I've managed to do one good raid. That's fine. Um, you're already being raided. The one place I look at is, uh, what if we go, like, over here? House Talvani, I'm gonna get troops over there. Oh, God, Grigna Grignison screamed at her. You might be a Grand Admiral, but you're an obnoxious doxy. Thank you. Lots of rivals in this dynasty. But, like, the blood runs high. When you're, when you're raiders and, and you've got like a lot of expectations, right? It's a difficult life. It's a difficult life. Okay, what about here? Is this a, is this a safe idea? This is a terrible idea, isn't it? 100% chance that we are going to slay a wild heart and gain the trait Novice Hunter. Very nice. They are raising troops. Oh, that's a lot of troops. I made a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, we actually might win it. You will probably win. What the hell do you mean by that? Because they basically sent levies at us. Okay. Relics from the past. We can't afford it. I'm sorry. One day, though. One day. We're going to have another revelry. I like that a lot. Now, she has become rackish. So, maybe we go for Lustful. Ooh. Um, the kind of revelry was a success. Gives development growth and popular opinion. Yeah. Play the character. She gained Lustful. Honestly, that kind of suits her based on what she's just done. A battle. Indulging myself in combat against some of the enemy's levies, I find myself slashing through their weaker, less trained forces with ease. I step aside and allow them to fall past me, stumbling to the ground, and as they stand up, they are a 16-year-old boy. Kill him. My god. 
My god. You kill the boy. But they have killed her husband. Amidst the chaos that engulfs the tiger hills of Asarun, I attempt to catch my bearings. Across the field, I spot on me, desperately fighting. Firewatch armored footman slowly surrounding him, his exhaustion only too clear. The glint of a sword suddenly catches my eye, and I watch as Moth Sarazanil, friend of Master Balves, that's rather deliver the vicious blow. I should not have let him go, not like this. Zanil is a dead man. Are we vengeful? Not really. You prove your valor, my love. He did. He did. We're not we're, we're not just gonna go nuts for him. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't suit her pirate ways, you know? 63 more gold. Let's get that home. My god. That was un an unnecessary gamble. I will be the first to admit. And here we are. Home sweet home. No Morrowind music. It's the 25th Morrowind anniversary. 30th. 45th. How long was Morrowind? When did Morrowind come out? I think it was like 1963. Something like that. Happy anniversary, Morrowind. I actually framed some Morrowind uh, canvases. Not canvases. Like art, proper art gallery prints earlier. Very lovely. Finally put them up. They were sat on my floor gathering dust rages, and I thought, God damn it. It's Morrowind's anniversary. You deserve this, friend. Ah. Uh, no, I want to dis... No, sir. I want to disband the army. Thank you, though. Wow. And you know what? Let's celebrate Morrowind by building a building. <laughs> oh, so expensive, you piece of shit. You vile, disgusting peasants. I mean, it's a better cash inputs to cash output ratio, I suppose. Oh, so expensive, though. It's the men at arms. It's the, uh, it is the house girls. They're great. They are really great. But my god, they are expensive. Holy shit. A familiar reflection. I remember the day when my son Grigna was born. Yeah, well, my handsome man. Um, it's different context with her. The monster. We get another martial point. Uh, sea raids. I want that. Embarkation cost minus 25%. Naval speed up 25%. I like that a lot. Obviously, prisoners and loot is the one we're really going for. Speaking of which, can we ransom out the prisoner we got? Nobody wants them. All right. Well, in the prison, you sit then. You can demand a payment from Grigna Grignison. Sure. Thanks. Uh, children like guardians. We've got my nephew, Grigna Grignison. Get educated, stupid. My son, Grigna Grignison. Can get educated by Frinfield Bellstriker. I wonder how she got that nickname. Uh, there you go. You can have two Grignans to educate. Congratulations. That's a high honor on Grignor Island. And now, was she never married? Was that her concubine? Because that did say consort and not husband died. I never put the thought together. Well, you know what? We're just going to marry whoever. She's 49. She's not going to have any more children. Uh, let's marry Thendiar Foe Slayer. He's got 16 Marshall. And I want to marry him, purely because then we can say, assist me with chivalry. Uh, really, what I should have done is married someone with um, stewardship to cancel out the... Actually, but look at that. Oh, your highest state marshal reduces the mana arms upkeep cost. Oh, well, that's bloody good. Oh, wow, shit. That's fantastic. Thank you. We've got few knights. It's probably because I keep marching them to their freaking death. What do you mean we've got few knights? Oh, my God, we can have 15. Bloody hell. Um, We could invite some, or I could just... Natives of Glenumbra. How bizarre. I think that popped up before, didn't it? Um, yeah, let's recruit a winter specialist. That'll do. You wore a hairy breeches. Amazing. <laughs> Very good. It's like uh, Ragnar Lothbrok, right? Let's go Buccaneer. Oh, he's already done it. That's good. Obviously, a lot of these people I don't really want. Uh, I don't really want fighting. Because a lot of them are going to be heirs and sons and children. Especially when you bear in mind her heir and son has the brave. Which gives him 100% chance of dying in battles. Not 100% chance, but plus 100% chance. Double the chance. And that's twice as much dying per man. Um, wow, she's bloody good. Hello. Grigna, Grigna, some of the 16 stewardship. My god. Maybe I should have you collecting taxes. Let's give it a go. 0 0.7. Well, that's quids in as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> we should get some more mana arms. Well, let's have a look. What have we got? We've got Sea Raiders. Are they cheap upkeep? 0.64. The Huskars are not that much more expensive, but they are significantly better. In my opinion. Okay, no Berserkers. 0.27 per month. Bloody hell, they are cheap, aren't they? Wow, they're really cheap for their stats. 
crap. They've got no screen. But I don't really give a shit about that, to be honest. Maybe I should. Maybe we wouldn't have so many wiped out war mages. They're very expensive. Um, Dragon priests are nuts, but they're also 1.12 maintenance per month. We could afford maybe two bands of that if we got rid of everything else. Light horsemen don't seem good for raiding. Ugh. Light footmen, it's almost not worth having them, right? Have a little bit of screen so that our Huskals can escape. We pay less in maintenance. I don't know. That doesn't seem right. No, I think we go to war. I think we go to war. Snowcon Asamanu. 821 troops. I think this would be uh, not necessarily a decisive victory. We've got to be careful where we land, of course. If I say conquer, we should also extract tribute from places as well. 67 gold. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. It's it's strongly in our favor. We could conquer the duchy and get the duchy of North Shore. I think I'll just take the county? Because duchy is more prestige for absolutely no reason. Thank you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get ourselves the staging grounds on Solstheim. And then let's get the kingdom of Gregnor on Solstheim. Solstheim's a big island. You could do a lot with that. But she's got 42 advantage. Oh, that's what we like to see. It's a shame she hasn't got some better leadership traits, but that's okay. How many troops you got then? You're gonna hire some mercenaries? Grigna comes of age, amazing. Oh, level 3 skilled tactician, great. The same as Marshall is absolutely shit though, but that's fine. Oh, we can just boat bomb them and win decisively, holy crap. The Battle of the Hall of Thormor's Watch. As the Battle of the Hall of Thormor's Watch rages on, I found myself drawn into the fight more than usual. Picking my fights, I managed to slay a few of the enemy footmen when the protection of the guardsmen and Lord Consort Dienda. For a moment, I feel indestructible, cutting through waves of foes with my soldier-like squad of elite warriors. Then it happens. My lady, shouts a familiar voice as they dive in front of me. Then they take a fatal blow destined for my chest. And the blow came from none other than Thalak. Not Thalak, my god, I've heard the rumors. Who wretches their blade from the lifeless, bloody body of Lord Consort Dendar and paces... What, well, as in her new husband? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You'll pay for that, Thalak. Oh... 79% chance I avenge him by slaying him in combat. We get an aspiring blade master. Do it. There's 2% chance she might die. <sighs> She's done it. Aspiring blade master. That is very nice to get. She is the first Grigner in a long time to actually be a blade master. Phalanx head tumbles on the floor before me, eyes and mouth still frantically moving. I stop momentarily to usher a prayer to Lord Consort Thiendiar. But now is not the time for grief. Our returns about shaken by life. Oh, so they're Lord Consort, even if they are. Even if they are um, just married to you, rather than actually being like a like a concubine level, uh, well, I've decided to marry Lady Consort Aura in a very quick move to try and get some marshal going. Again, Griglers don't really care who they marry; they respect strength. And he's dead. Literally married again before he was cold. Oh my God, no! What's happening here? I stood on the ridge overlooking the battle of the Hall of Thormor's Watch. A short distance from me and Hjal observe the enemy forces' movements. Everything is going as planned in accordance to what I have organized at the start of the battle when suddenly Hjal turns to me and points out an unexpected enemy rush into the weaker section of our main force. Hjal, go and fix that mess. Hjal successfully defends the push. 63% chance. He gains 100 prestige. One marshal. Uh, or we say, Hjal, I'm the commander here. You and Hikal assist the defense force. Okay, martial experience. But oh, this one gives us organizer, though. That would be kind of sick. Yeah, right, let's go for it. Oh, after sending Hikal to halt the enemy advance, I continue working on my strategic plans. A few minutes pass, I'm distracted by other happenings before Hikal startles me. My lady, I failed you, says Hikal as I look over the enemy advance here, unscathed by his efforts. What a fanny. What an idiot man he is. And we can't even begin the siege because... Because they have an enormous garrison? Adds... Oh, because the fort level is so high. Oh. So we're literally going to be here for potentially years. If we get very lucky with the siege rolls. Okay, we went up two months there. Uh, Grigna keeps the trait gregarious. Grigna keeps the trait greedy. Grigna keeps the trait lustful. Yes. Oh, but he's generous. He wouldn't suddenly flip like that. All right, gregarious for you then. Little Grigna Grignison. This kid's interesting. Just generous Grigaris. He would have made a fantastic diplomat. But instead, he is corralled into the uh, Grigna way of life. But this is going to take a long time. We're probably going to run out. Of oh, look at that. We got lucky, though. 
Ooh, and we've captured two others during the battle. What did they reinforce that? What were you thinking? I suppose you've got nothing else to lose at that point, eh? You might get unbelievably lucky. I don't think there's any world that that would have happened. Someone's plotting to kill my son and heir, Gregna. It could be another Gregna. Ooh, additional taxes. We gained 80 gold. Your bosun's excellent stewardship led to this windfall. We lost 54 stress because we're greedy. Oh, amazing. Is, is this where things start to turn around? The fall of Thormor. The county of Thormor has fallen to me. We have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the equivalent subjects and shining treasures from Snokan Asamanu to choose from. Do we occupy the city or do we sack the city? Yes. Oh, they're right. They're, they're reiklings or reeklings. Oh, that's really funny. Sack it. She's greedy. Sack it, then take it. To the blathering Grand Admiral Grigna, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to end this bloodshed, I comply with your demands. Yes, you bloody do. A foothold in Solstheim. A foothold in Solstheim. Would you believe it? Here we go. This is, this is the beginning of something perhaps great. So, turn our attention to the north. West Gash have... 6,390 troops. Bloody hell. Blood Skull. 1,380. And they have that fancy sword. Mose Ring. The Car Carhol. Is 2,195 troops. Oh, fuck me. Herstang. 1,700. We'd have to take that one. And then... Uh, then reinforce our troops. We just don't have a choice. Bloody hell. A maximum army size is pretty nice, though, with that additional levies from Thormor's Watch. What did you have in Thormor's Watch, then? Let's have a look. They are high velocity Reiklings. Great. Makes perfect sense. How can I argue with that? Let's get them converted. It's time to bring back the worship of dragons to Solstheim. I think it's long overdue. Maybe they never did that. Maybe that was always at more totemism. Uh, promote our culture. Get rid of these damn Reiklings. Settle our own people there. We can invite the Skull. I presume Skull and at Morin aren't super dissimilar. Nordic language, Skull language, yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, no, we'll get our own people. Thank you. Conversion efforts will be slower because we're not native, but again, when the religion flips over, the culture won't be far behind. Where do we go then? I guess we head down through Blood Skull next. Really, what we need to do is wait a little while to get control of the place, reinforce, etc., etc. Uh, speaking of which, let's get you... What are you doing right now? You're increasing control in Grigna's... Grigna's folly. Let's bring you over to here then. Got to make sure we actually keep this place now that we've bloody fought for it. And then we'll keep an eye on them. See if they go to war. See if they get clapped. We've got quite a strong ally too. Who's their ally? Crap. Gandrung. The thing is, if we come over from here, we cross the river. We go to Bloodscar. We're taking a river crossing. But if we survive that first battle and we can sit there and kind of hold it. By the time they get over to us, maybe our troops are still good enough that we won't get wiped out instantly. It's a bold strategy, Cotton, I will admit. Um, what sort of troops do you like, then? War mages. <laughs> I mean, war mages uh, do help with the siege, and they could make for good raiders. Full maintenance, 0.6 per month. I could just go for a shitload more. Yeah, but I could get, like, three bands of berserkers for that one band of war mages. What would Grigna do? You should never ask that question. It's an obvious answer. Okay, sure. New martial lifestyle perk. Hello there. Sacred raids. Not that we care about that one. Then we get Grand Raider, which increases our loot by another quarter. For a good. We can also raid out from here, don't forget. We could raid them first. Test the waters. Why not? Yeah. Horrible idea. Because we're about to take that for our own. Why not burn down your own city before you take it? Are you suggesting I might not know what I'm doing? How could you? Oh, they've already been raided. We could raid their ally. That might not hurt. What about you? Do you think we could go there? They could drop a reinforcement point over here. All right, let's go for it. It's Castle Karstag, right? Is there anything special about that? Or you can construct a duchy building there, but I can't imagine they're going to do... Uh... Oh, I made an honest mistake. I knew this was going to happen. What the hell do you mean you probably win? How good are these berserkers? I mean, she's got 45 advantage. Prove me wrong. We have got advantage, but there's so many troops. Oh, shit. There she is, shouts a voice right over my shoulder. It's Grand Admiral Gregna, say someone else from another direction. Where are they coming from? I think to myself, while continuously fighting off more and more foes. After a prolonged period of combat, my nearby soldiers desperately try to protect me, but as their numbers dwindle, I begin to take hits 
from the larger quantities of enemies. As the last of my personal guard falls dead on the floor, I look up and see myself surrounded and separated by a short distance from the rest of my army. They have me ten to one. Let me live, I beg you. Oh, she would never. She would never. She knows what she's here for. Live by the sword. 73% chance she manages to survive. She gets prowess. She gets severely injured, but she gets the prestige for it. 26% chance she dies. Do it. Oh my god. No! <laughs> it was a risk, I'm sorry. As the enemies converge on my position. I, I, I'm not apologizing. This is how a Grigna always wants to die. This is the ultimate Grigna fantasy. As the enemies converge on my position, I grip my blade in concern. One swings at me wildly, allowing me to parry and get a hit in, while another brings their sword slashing into my back. Yelling in pain and anger, I turn and use all my force to smash my sword through the attacker's torso, but the blade simply skims off their male armor. Bleeding heavily from the wound on my back, I try to fight with all my strength, but become too sluggish from blood loss. A blade lunges into my stomach and I fall to my knees before rolling on my side and spilling red blood into the mud around me. Die by the sword. Gregna the second of Gregna fleet left this world at the age of 51. She was slain in battle, but look at this specimen that we are about to play as Grand Admiral Grigna the Fifth. The battle is lost. Yeah, that's done. The troops did not all die, though. Let's get the troops home. Let's get them disbanded. That's a sad time, isn't it? No armies can be disbanded. Why the fuck not? Why can't they be disbanded? <laughs> why, why can't they be disbanded, though? <laughs> Cannot disband them while hostile armies are around. You want me to sail back to Grignor Island to disband these troops? Are you joking? Yodra has discovered Master's Field. Well, that's good, isn't it? Okay, there you go. She's dead. But she died a warrior's death. She did more than any other Grignor has done before. She took new territory for Grignor's land. Wow. What a legend. What a play. Destroy buildings in this holding turn it feudal. Uh. Oh. Shit, that's very frustrating. So we've captured this. But we can't do anything with it. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Well, here we are then. Let's find a new spy master. She's not amazing, but sure, we'll just have to do. We'll just have to take what we can get at this point. No lifestyle chosen. He has started down gallant. Very good. I appreciate that. Oh, God, look at him. He's the most Grigna man I've ever seen. They've kept some frightening blue eyes, haven't they? Despite the many, many generations. Holy shit. Uh... Well, let's do it. So, Grigna the Fifth. He is brave, fickle, and zealous. He is a tough soldier, an aspiring blade master, and he is reckless. This is a man who I think will have a short life expectancy. <laughs> he is comely, which is good. We've actually got an inheritable trait here, which is quite nice. Let's find him a wife. Uh, now, preferably, we do need to actually find him a wife, though, because this man is going to need some children. Have we got anybody with any inheritable traits? No. Bollocks. Okay, we could go for their prowess. Uora Hairy Breaches is pretty good. 22 Marshall. Damn, she's not bad at all. She could teach him a thing or two. Um, is that really the best we've got? I guess so. Uh, let's go arrange marriage. Uh, yeah, that's it. Find concubine. That's also interesting. We could take her as a concubine. Or we could take this random bloke goblin that we have imprisoned. <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> That's a horrible, horrible thing to take as a concubine. Take her as a concubine? Ah. Grigna, Grigna. I like how you think. I know he's hale, but you're probably not going to get many kids out of that uh, arrangement, Grigna. They're too stupid to know otherwise. You, uh, you, can't, you can't blame them. Okay, we can ransom you out. Get out. Be gone. Uh, lots of people can get married. Holy shit. Um, wow. Okay, right. Well, let's, let's, I, I'm just kind of preparing myself for the inevitable searching through the character finder, to be completely honest with you. What the hell have we got then? We picked up some stuff that we can sell, eh? Um, East Marcher Mace. Is that better than the sword? 
Oh, it is. And I feel like a mace is a lot more, a lot more of a Grigna weapon, isn't it? Sell this sword. Get out of here. Sell it. Out of my palace. Okay, then. Let's, let's have a look through the character finder again. Reluctantly, I'm trying to hold back the vomit. But I will take a look and see what I can find. Wow. Okay. So, presumably, we're focusing entirely on Marshall. Presumably, we're focusing entirely on Marshall. I need to look. We need to change their age a little bit here because this is very silly. 21 Marshall is the highest. So, that person we've got in our court is actually, actually better. Um, unmarried women. Adult, uh, can I change like that? Like, like young adult? What about like adult though? Because it's like adult, young adult, and older adult. Can I just say adult but like not have old people? Shit. Uh, uh, what if we say younger adult? I think our guy's... He's like 22. That, that I would consider a younger adult for sure. Let's have a look then. I, I'm kind of curious what age limit puts on that. Okay, so these are all the people with inheritable traits that aren't married that are... Nordic. Lendwoman Tilda of Valkig. Would you marry him? You're very good. Shit, you are very good. Um, arranged marriage between you and him. Will not accept. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever accept... Patrilineal marriage minus 100, different faith, different culture, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's basically going to be impossible to find anybody, isn't it? Let's be honest. Unless I can get one of these people to court. She is very magical, which we're not looking for. She is 33 and married, so I don't know why the fuck you bought... Well, she's just got a concubine. Um, she does have an... Oh, she's a cute dwarf. Well, I wouldn't say that she's that good looking. She, <laughs> she's uh, attuned... Oh, God. What a mess. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go for the lady in the court. Grigner respects strength. Grigner also respects his time. Let's go. Uora Hairy Breaches. Is that my phone? I'm trying. I'm going to be real with you. I don't even know what my phone is. I don't keep it next to me all day. Uh, send proposal. Thank you. You married lady consort Uora. Amazing. They, they're, a, they're a power couple. They're a power couple. And if we swap her over to, uh... Because what's she on right now? Assist ruler. If we go chivalry, it takes my man up to 27 marshal. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about. 27 marshal is nuts, let's be honest. Look at those stats we got. Boom. Look at that. Ooh, great, great, great stuff. Army gold maintenance down 38%. I'm a big fan of that. Thank you. Okay, then. Um. Wow. Where do we go from here, then? Hunter's Lodge is constructed, drags us out of debt. Ransom accepted. Beautiful. Oh, this is going well. I'm actually kind of surprised. And our troops aren't fully reinforced. I wanted to double check that, because, of course, that means that we're safely within our maximum reinforced cost. Ata died of old age. Okay. This is not looking amazing. Now we're going to marry off all those bloody family members, haven't I? Uh, yeah, I'll educate you, Grigny Grignison, because I'm nuts at Marshall now. Family members can get married. All right, here we go, then. Um... No valley characters. Are you fucking joking? That's what I thought. Uh, name is possessed. This is my cousin. I can marry her to my brother. There's too many Grignas and not enough anybody else. This guy's just called Grigna Snowcrest. Oh, because his grandmother. Oh, that's cool. There are Grignas in other domains now. That's really funny. Um, okay, look. You can marry... A strong at more Matt. Nain. Nain. Yeah, he's insane. Nain the insane. I like that a lot. I, actually, I think it was possessed, which is slightly more slightly more concerning. Um, right, what about you then? Who do you want to marry? You want to marry Asta. Uh, we got uh, Heirik Thricepierce. Merit. She's pretty good. Here you go. Marry her. All right, let's let those marriages go through. Amazing. Fantastic. Right, who else we got? My bosun. Uh, you can marry... <sighs> Slim Pickings. What relation are you, my cousin? Cousin to brother? That's not so weird, right? I don't think that's so weird. All right, there you go. Enjoy. You can marry um, Frida. She's 18. She's ambitious. Ambitious Frida. There you go. You're welcome. Enjoy your marriage. Perfect. Great work. Done. Right, one more, and then everybody's happy. Um, who's this? Your younger brother. Right, of course. Uh, you can marry Asta. Get it done. Okay, good shit. Amazing work. Let's get to work. We've got lots to do here. Artifacts have low durability. My pressed orchid. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, 38 gold for a fucking orchid. You're good. You're all good. You're all good. Get out. <laughs> this is what we can let it just, like, disappear. This I want to reforge, though, because it's monthly martial lifestyle experience. So you can... That's worth it. That's worth the cost, as far as I'm concerned. Right. Okay. All we've got are books on warfare. 
which this Grigner is probably far too stupid to read. Oh, he is. He's only got six learning. This is uh, this is as close as to original Grigner as we've gotten. 27 Marshall, 45 Prowess. He, he's, he's but a, uh, a shadow of, you know, original Grigner. But he's, uh, it's getting closer, right? We're, we're bringing it back. You can decrease county edicts. Can I now? Do I really want to? Now I like money, though. So you could now get out of here. Take a go and combine. Nope. Well, we could. There's actually no reason not to, because this guy is comely. He's got an inheritable trait. Uh, the problem is, do we have any concubines worth taking? We've got a man. We've got a man, a 98-year-old elf, or a 27-year-old goblin. <laughs> is there no one in court at all? Are we this slim on the ground? Is everybody in our domain dead? What the fuck? Oh, come on. There's got to be someone, right? Um, oh, you know what? I, I just don't care that much, to be honest with you. Can I ransom anyone out for money? Two gold. Well, you do drive a hard bargain. Oh, let's get to work. <laughs> this is a silly game. Let's, um, first things first, then. Right, let's make a new man at arms regiment. I would like... Now, this man, you're the zealous one, aren't you? Ooh, you'd absolutely be happy to take some Dragon Priest, and I'd be happy for you to be happy to take some Dragon Priest. What the hell was that? Wait, wait, we got something else. Oh, it's Grigner's, yeah, Grigner's memory that we can't do anything with. How much of the Dragon Priest? Let's be sensible about this. There's lots of, it's piety, right? 1.1 gold per month? Ah, oh, The treasury can't bear such expense. It would be sick, though, wouldn't it? Was there not also, sorry, an option to summon a dragon somewhere? 5,000 piety. 5,000 piety. How could we get that? How can we even begin to scratch the surface of 5,000 piety? If we could get that... I'm going to spend 100 gold against my better judgment to try and go for this piety. If we can get pilgrim or whatever, that's, that's a bonus. Let's go to the shrines at Valkig and see what we can do out there. This is the first ever religious character. Oh my god, he's known as Grigner the Indomitable. Oh, I like that a lot. Man, I feel like this character, you know, even though we're not playing him like we did with his uh, grandfather from, from the age of Babby. This guy, 23, we've got him for a long time. Well, I'm not sure about that one. While you're doing your task, you find yourself pondering over the legacy of your ancestors. You realize that your forefathers were renowned for their strength, courage, and leadership. And you feel a deep desire to honor their memory by following in their footsteps. I should always accept... I, I should accept my lineage... The effects will change according to your genetics. You increase your prowess by one. Then you got a 50% chance of losing a stat. Interesting. Possible outcomes. You've got a 20% chance of one of the stats dropping, but they're not independent, if that makes sense. So it's a 50% chance that we lose one point in a stat. I should always accept my lineage. So every year... We trade a stat for prowess. If I'm trading one marshal for one prowess, I could cry. But it's only a 50% chance. It's only a 10% chance yearly that we would lose one marshal. And that's the only thing I give a shit about right now. Uh, yeah, I, I I should accept my lineage always. Yes. You won't see this event, but it will still... You'll still receive... Yeah, absolutely do that. Then we can start following it wherever we want. This is the event I talked about before. You're already sick. For freak's sake, you've only just left. If you die instantly, I, I will quit. <laughs> There's no time to give up. Please go. Ooh, enthusiastic conversions. That's good. And we're back already with Pilgrim. I'm finally here, a body and soul of the Great Shrine of Valkyrie. As the Dragon Priest offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had to happen for the dragons to bring me here at this moment. 375 piety. We gain the trait Pilgrim because we have the Ecclesiarchy Tenet. We gain the seat of bishops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, I've walked the holy path. You gain the trait pilgrim. And we are known for a level of dedication to our faith. Very good. 0 0.78 per month. It's not very good. It takes us a long time to get there. My journey's been a long one, but I finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the dragon servants and dragon priesthood treat me. I've only gone the journey of a holy man. It's good to be home. It is good to be home. Ooh. Uh, do we cheer the Buccaneers or do we take that? Obviously, we take the 350 prestige, giving them a minus 30 in debt right now. Thank you. And flamboyant trickster. Oh, you're being trained in intrigue. Oh, my bad. That's a very Grigner thing to do, though, isn't it? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean knives in the dark? You mean knives in the light, right, you idiot boy? Let's go for 
Oh, do I spend it on dragon priests or do I save up for a fucking dragon? We're, look, let's put it this way. We're only 10% of the way there for dragons, but to be fair, we've only been playing 30 seconds. Ah, it's going to take too long. I think it'll take too long to get a dragon. As cool as it would be, I feel like this character isn't the right guy for it. I want to see a dragon as much as anybody. <laughs> dragon priests are pretty cool in their own right. We can afford the upkeep. My god, he's done it. He's gone for Dragon Priest. <laughs> we lost the trade. Ooh. I thought the full maintenance 1.2 per month, but that didn't drop by 1.2. How strange. Anyway. Uh, but the lights is working my rival. Must Sarah Zanil. Oh, you've got a rival. Sorry, I, I forgot to check that. You do have a rival. Why are, we, why are you rivals? Uh, oh, Omni. Yes, on, on me. It, it, uh, he killed its father. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, the piece is derogatory, inflammatory, and specifically dedicated to me and my unique blend of incompetence and incontinence. Slacking all over the Grigna fleet. Sometimes fate is far too cruel to put a lord's crown on such a mule. Oh, what cruel fate's destiny doles out when such a tosspot wields such clout. That's amazing. So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore any longer. Uh, that's really good. Either we can say, I don't know how I feel about this. 99% chance the poem is mocked. We lose 20 opinion, but we do gain 75 prestige. Yes. Yes, get mocked. That's good. I like that a lot. I was going to go for the other option and just like accept his, uh, kind of cut his losses a little bit, but no, it didn't matter. Very good. Oh, right. But of course, that that full maintenance, I presume, doesn't include the, uh, maybe it does. Doesn't include the maintenance cost reductions that we've got going from our marshal. I don't know. Because we, we've clearly got enough left over to, in theory, hire another band. Presuming I can get the prestige for it. Anyway. Um, you might be a Grand Admiral, but uh, sorry, Piety. But you're also a vile churl. Very good. It's nice to see other people struggling in life, isn't it? A little bit of schadenfreude. Hello? What are you doing there? Oh, please don't be there. Could you... No. Why would you do this? Um, can we stop that? There's only 600 of them. Christians, can we raise and can we get over there? In enough time. I think we bloody can. Go. Stop them. Yes. Yes. 37 worth of loot back. Your victory has given you... I think that loot was mine. No, I think that was my money. Oh my god. The upkeep is nuts when they're raised. Okay. Be careful with that. <laughs> that was expensive. <laughs> um, where do we go for then? Chivalry dominance gives 75% night effectiveness. I've got to go for that first, I think. We don't necessarily need the raiding right now because we're probably not going to go too crazy with it. As the fire roars, drinks have been had and Hjal is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous Atmoran folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told a story of my own life? There was a time my mother Grigna was slain in battle. Yes, tell her, tell the story. Never forget her. She died a hero. The only Grigna to have ever expanded the borders. Um, yeah, that's expensive. This is expensive. Um... Can I sell, can I sell, not sell these people, but ransom them out? Nothing. Holy crap. What? I just, I feel like their monthly income doesn't quite calculate properly until I raise and lower troops. And then it's like, oh yeah, no, sorry. I remember you're supposed to be in a hideous amount of debt. Because nothing's changed right now. I guess we were raided. Is that really the big difference there? Fucking hell. We've got to get off this island. 50% holdings hacks. Yeah, but. Man, I suppose, yeah, I suppose it would be, wouldn't it? Does kind of add up. Rounded down, does add up. Oh, bollocks. All right, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll just presume it's from that then. Let's marry some people off. Yeah, marry her. Wait! Don't marry her. I want her. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Marry her. Bollocks. Did it happen? Skorta. The other one was, must have been declined. No, no, no. It was a. Oh, shit. No. Oh, why have they got to do this to me? There was a, there was a lady who had the hail. Bollocks. There she is. Horsky thrice pierced. No, 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 no. I, I will marry you. Who's caught you in? Lend no, 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 no. Join me. Come to my court. Marry, marry me. I could marry her to him. Hail and comely. Oh, go on then. Fine. It keeps the dynasty going, right? Excellent. Thank you. Great news. Amazing. Fantastic. I'm so annoyed by that. Fucking hell. We just can't catch a break with this. We just cannot catch a break with it. What am I going to do? 
Now I'm going to get 50 gold up together. Even though I was preparing for all-out war, I'm going to get 50 gold up together. A ridiculous time. All right, well, look, let's... I might have to drop the Dragon Priest again. I'm sorry, but I might I might not have a choice here. Because my, my, my... My income cushion... My safety net is is gone. <laughs> conquer them. Get them conquered. Maybe we could start extorting tribute. I don't know. There's a, there's a dangerous war. There's a dangerous war. Get in there. Smash them. Where are their allies? There they are. Okay, remember what I said. I'm hoping... Fuck. This is what I was worried about. Bollocks. Well, that's that war over then. Very good. <laughs> that's that war over. This is just it. It's over. It's done. Just got, uh, I guess, unlucky. That's the end of it then. Fine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to disband the troops. Otherwise, we're going to be sat there reinforcing an army that, quite frankly, I can't afford. All right. I'm sorry. I've got to get rid of them immediately. What a fucking waste of time. Get out. I don't understand the, some of the calculations on these mana. Whoa, mana arms. It seems all over the place. Anyway, welcome. Join me. You're very good, actually, Grigna. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to surrender because... If I gotta pay you money though, if I surrender 72 gold, I can't afford that. Sir, I cannot afford this. This is the most frustrating playthrough I think I've ever fucking done. Okay, yeah, whatever. Hello, yeah, good child, great. Thank you for letting me know. Don't care. Oh man, okay. Um, never back down. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> never back down. Why would I ever back down? It's crazy to think I would do such a thing, eh? Okay. Uh, well, look, the troops are reinforcing. We could just sit here and wait. You never know, maybe we could take it back again. Maybe those troops will piss off and we can come out here and really go in swinging. Well, let's give it a go. Why not? Uh, yeah, start increasing control back in Grigna's Folly. And it's just going to do that thing it's been doing before where we'll flitter between being able to reinforce and not being able to reinforce. You never know, maybe we can still take this. Maybe we can still take this. Maybe a little patience might pay off. Oh, what is this? I was born on this day 28 years ago. The older I get, I'm more, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me I've not heard from my wife. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Who could it be at this hour? Luckily, it's a birthday party. I'll take the biggest gift. The Grignison Mace. That's actually the nicest thing you could have done for me. The bigger mace. Plus six prowess. It's not even that good. It's just a slightly bigger mace. Amazing. Thank you. Um, wow. Wow. We've got to take gambles. I know you're thinking, oh, it's not a necessary risk. We've got to, We've got to take these risks. There just isn't enough time not to gamble. Four more knights. Okay, yeah, why not? I love knights. We could go down the strategist tree instead of raiding if we want to focus more on getting land rather than just getting cash. How, how long have we got left on the wall? 63%. Let, let, it, let him cook. Let him cook. If we can reinforce back almost up to full, as soon as these are done reinforced, and then these are reinforced. Oh, they're already done. There you go. Okay. Raise the troops. We're going to be immediately in debt. So that's going to be a negative. Fuck off. Jesus. Sweaty ton in need of food. A long day of training with the troops coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old castle in the distance. Good. There's treasure to be found. If we search the upper floors, we may gain 75 treasure. And if we do, that might tip the wall. We did. Ooh. Because now we're not going to be in debt. Very good. I'm sorry. I told you to fuck off. Okay. I... Though in hindsight. I'm just going to surrender. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Piss off. Take the money. Take the money. Oh, God damn it. Oh, rats gathering. Yeah. My enemies appear to be multiplying. So his friend has also become my rival. Great. Uh, yeah, I miss raiding. You, you kids love raiding. Let's go back to raiding. Oh, piss off. Oh, we're going to win. It's fine. Gah, she's back. She's back. A wife is back. Because then I can never afford it. Oh, my God. From the news of the Tiger Hills of Motoring finally arriving in the hands of an exhausted messenger, I take a deep breath. So much race on the fate of my heir. Uh, our brave Grigner was killed, leading an attack against the Mosering Archer. He was slain by Arias, Buccaneer of Snow Khan Shule, in a fierce encounter. Wow. We won the battle, but we lost to Grigner in the process. What do you mean, my only heir? We've got, like, three siblings. No player heir of your dynasty. What the fuck? Grigner Shatterspear? No? 
I have to murder this child. Because if I don't, it's a game over. <laughs> and this guy is not long for the world. Why is he not leading the fucking troops? We could have maybe won that war. We, I, I, it wouldn't have made that much difference. I'll be honest with you. Oh, well, at least we can raid around Souls time now. That's at least something, isn't it? Oh, but never mind. They've raided Grigna Hall. My nephew, Grigna, and sister-in-law, Asta, were captured. Yeah, because we are just totally unable to counter the raiders from Morrowind. They're just... They're just everywhere. Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do to stop that? We build it up, and they just take it away as fast as we build it up. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, here, whatever. No, I'll explore the hills myself. I can't afford to pay you. You get lost in the hills. Well done, idiot. It's, it's alright. It's just the whole dynasty on the line. The battle of the Hall of Herstang. Suddenly, I am brought back to Earth as I narrowly dodge a blow from an enemy swordsman. The strike you sent me was originally destined for the side of my head. Instead, scratched me across the face, leaving me stunned and bleeding. Not as unstoppable as I thought. Christ. After retreating from immediate combat to assess my situation, I noticed the damage on my body... I noticed the damage my body has received. Well, it's absolutely not lethal. It's certainly something to be concerned about. Grigna, my cousin and buccaneer, is going to offer to tend me. Shit, it's a 61% chance she balls it up. No, you're not qualified. If you die now. Oh, if you die now. My friend, I will never forgive you. On the plus side, raiding around Souls time is significantly more effective than... Pissing around with boats. <laughs> um, I don't want any of this. I do want Gallant, but honestly, I think uh, like Age of Aggression, Movement Speed, Engineer for Destruction, blah, 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 that might be more useful. Alternatively, we have the Plunderer, we buy more troops, then we bash our head against the wall, which is growing larger and larger. The, the House Lalu, the wall that House Lalu built, they're putting more and more fucking bricks up there, harder than, faster than my skull can harden for a long and protracted painful metaphor. Painful in both senses of the word. Just kill this baby. Hello. D yes, I'm not one to back away from the challenge of taming a mighty horse. He's brave. Of course he would do that. Yes. The horse pins her ears back as I approach. Her disregard for me crystal clear. The first meeting is important to her trust and respect. Ah, uh, obviously we will go. A steady hand is required for me to as required for me to tame this beast. Prowess test. That should be an easy one. He's got 55 prowess. It is a mighty feeling. A powerful warhorse follows my every whim. Yes. And another martial lifestyle perk. Thank you. Okay. Sacred raids gives us piety. Maybe that's how we get the dragon. Because with a dragon, I could take Solstime. I could take Solstime with a dragon. Mirak did it. K kind of. I could do that easily. No problem. The warhorse. What are we going to name it? Uh, how about Sweet Roll? A name inspired by history. Sweet Roll is a name inspired by history, of course, even though I didn't select that option. Lady Consort Ura, my wife, frets all day, attempting to... Uh, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last we make our way to die, and she begins sheepishly. My husband, I have rumors that a Stannis, the snow card of Winterhold, has come to see you as the focus of his enmity. It talks openly of the illegitimate Grand Admiral of Varstad, who daily serves his rightful land and revenues. Ha! That venomous boar. I shall write to him at once. Or, inconsequential prattle, I'm sure. 80% chance the rumors are true, we become rivals. Nah, he's a venomous boar. What's another rival? What's another rival? This man is hated by dark elves across the realm. What's another rival, eh? Let's go for it. Okay. How are we doing? Why am I still in tragic amounts of debt? When does this wear off again? Oh, only another five more years, four more years, three more years. Don't check the maths. That's a long time. Longer than I've got the patience for, I'll be blunt. Good die, good, good, <laughs> I said good die instead of goodbye. However, <laughs> however, maybe I wasn't far off. If there's one thing Grigna in particular cannot resist, it's his favorite treat. His next sweet snack will be the one part strawberry compote and one part potent poison, forgotten by my agent in front of the child. 62% chance Grigna Shatter Spear is killed. If not, it's game over for us when I die. <sighs> Piss and fuck. Grigna still lives. He picked up the strawberry compote, but before he could take a bite, a street dog snatched it. Oh, no. Not only is the dynasty in danger, I killed the dog. <laughs> Bollocks. Well, uh, if at first you don't succeed, uh, try again. Of course. Uh, ten gold to get Grigna's shatter spear back. No, I want him to die. 
<laughs> I want that kid dead. Keep him. I suppose if he was in my court, I could probably just, like, chuck him overboard or something, right? Um, you've still got two gold. Ah, oh, just kill this goblin. Oh, it's because we're zealot. We can kill people for stress. Oh, oh my god, there's a hundred prestige for her. Oh, sorry, piety, piety, piety. Oh my god, whoa, 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 we're on to something. We capture prisoners, which gives us... Oh, sorry, we raid for piety, and then as we raid, we capture prisoners, and then we trade the prisoners for... Ooh. Sorry, you're going to have to extrapolate that. I got ahead of myself. Okay. Well... Hello there. How many troops have you got? 1,200. You've got 4,000. Oh my god. Frostmouth is under House Lalu. But let's be reasonable here. Are they really going to come all the way over here? Throw him in jail. Oh, throw him in jail, you say? Oh, music to my ears. Get binned. 250 piety. We're closer to dragon. We're like basically a fifth of the way to dragon if you round it up to the nearest thousand. Bollocks. Oh, no, we'll win that. We'll win that. Yeah, with you in charge. I'll get absolutely destroyed. Stood on the ridge overlooking the Battle of the Lordship of Frostmouth a short distance from the front lines. Me and Gregner observed the enemy lines. We must reposition our men to defend that charge, he says, before asking to go himself and assist the commanding armies. Gregner, go fix that mess. A 67% chance he becomes an organizer. We, sorry, Gregner. Grigna me, not Grigna him. Very confusing. After sending Grigna to halt the enemy advance, I continue working on strategic execution of other tactical plans I had made. Amazing. I was watching the whole time, Grigna. Very impressive. Amazing. What? What? Well, I sure hope that event that was popping up wasn't anything irrelevant. Because it disappeared immediately. A bewinged messenger. Yes. Yes. If I send it as a gift, with Sarah Rye couldn't refuse. Secrecy down. Scheme chance up. We can't afford to let this get out. Dismisses the bird trainer, you piece of shit. Oh. I take a second to catch my breath after I attack. I notice my soldiers looking on in disappointment after a miserable show of prowess. Oh, normally better, I swear. Oh, look at him. Look, he's all embarrassed because he did a shit job. Oh my god, but that time though, we did not do a shit job. We absolutely annihilated them. Oh my god, and we're wounded. Bloody hell. Hello, what do you want? An alliance with this guy. Who, who, who's you? Mose Ring? No, piss off. You're next on my kill list. Battle of Lordship of Frostmouth. Um, Grigna's gonna try and heal me. Fine, he's got a 15% chance of performing a miracle. <laughs> the treatment helps a lot. Oh my god, thank you. Whereas our last character fucked up every role she ever did. You'll win decisively. Oh my god. Maybe this is the secret. We've captured some prisoners. Sacrifice them for a dragon. Oh, they've got cities and shrines here. Look at this. Bloody hell. Wait, how do I get to that? What is that? Oh, there's a duchy building. There's a duchy building, right? There's a big old temple there. Let's go to that shrine. The Battle of the Shrine of Kelbjorn. Ah, uh, Grigna, I am the commander here. We might as well pick the other option because the other option doesn't do anything. Oh, it buffs up Grigna. Nah, I want that. You and Grigna assist the defense under your command. There is a 43% chance Grigna Grignison becomes severely injured. Who's, who's that? Is that me? God, this was a horrible idea for a playthrough. Ho uh, lock, though. Thank you. Uh, no, it's my first mate. Yeah, whatever. Done. Those men are lucky to have me in command. Oh, very nice. The best outcome. Follow me, Gregner, I say, before signaling to my personal guardsmen to follow me into battle. Using my experience, I give Gregner tactical commands to follow. By means of my experience and Gregner's help, we managed to contain the enemy advance. Very good. 100 prestige. 150 martial lifestyle experience. That's pretty huge. Let's get this place raided. I love money. This was such a great call. Solstheim is a treasure trove. An absolute treasure trove. Uh, hello. Absolutely not ransoming anybody out. I'm going to ransom them to the dragons, my friend. Uh, 50. Get gone. And 50 there. Get gone. Die. Boil and die. Now we're almost a fifth of the way there. When rounded up to the nearest thousand for a dragon. And that was a quick turnaround, too. you got to admit, Marshburg available. Hello. Right. Well, what are we going for, then? We want to go for prisoners and loot, don't we? We might actually have to start raiding elsewhere. And to be fair, with this guy leading the charge, I think that's that's a fair idea. I think this is going all right. I'm not going to say well. I wouldn't dare set myself up for failure in such a way, but I feel like we're starting to redeem things a little bit. Sadly, Grigner's Folly being constantly the target of raids isn't really helping much. And of course, we can't do anything with this. This, this promise is adding nothing to us besides a place to stage our troops. Let's drop the troops, let them reinforce on the subjects of that. 
Wow. Um, what about you? Are you possible to be raided? Not like that. What about you? 2,217. I reckon we could raid that. With this guy leading, he's such a good commander. Ah, uh, Lady Consort Aurora's chambers. I hear horrifying screams. Barely human. The loathsome physician standing in the corner of the room anxi anxi uh, bleh, bleh, uh, anxiously <laughs> wringing her hands. This will not happen again. We all knew the rest of you were forgiven. The guards put her under lock and key. All the traitor deserves to die. No. Shout at her. Botched her disease treatment. Wife, are you okay? Oh my god, she's ill. She's one-eyed. She's one-legged. Oh, she's so powerful, but she's gonna die. Oh no, my wife. 29 Marshall, though. Bloody hell. Wife, please don't die on me. You're so good. Ah! Fucking hell! Please, I've gotta kill this kid, because we're gonna get game over. Don't play that whimsical Morrowind music. Give me the kid back. Fucking hell. Just give me the stupid child. Return the child. Hello. Uh, no, today is our, our day and our honor, dear. Yes, give me that damn kid back. All right, let's kill him dead. Now he's in my court. Maybe I can chuck him in the ocean. I don't know. Kill. Can't do it because we were exposed. Mm, can't do it because we were exposed. Fine. Uh, what if I grant him a temple? CK2 tactic. Does that work? Give him a temple. Disqualifies him from the line of succession because he's a stinky priest. Um, what if I use a spell book to blow him up? Yes. What do you mean I don't know any magic? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> We're gonna get a game over because of this stupid child. Can I uh, have him educated by like my mortal enemy and they'll like kill him? Hmm, is that too obvious? Got educate child here. Um, who's like terrible? Who's like shit though? Who's like really bad? Who's the worst person with the lowest stats in my court? You're pretty terrible. Hyal, Hyal, Hyal. Y'all train him. Yes. Take take over. Deal with this kid for me. Okay. We've got to wrap things up today. Thank you for joining me. I didn't even realize it's been an hour and six minutes. I got lost in the sauce. The Grigna sauce. And that's the best sauce to be lost in. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. <laughs>